Hello. Welcome to the fifth video in the ComTorx module for the Center for Science of Information. Today, we'll be talking about the notation we introduced in the previous lecture, the binomial coefficient, n choose k, and some identities associated with it. As a reminder, the binomial coefficient, pronounced n choose k, equals n factorial divided by n minus k factorial, k factorial, and it represents the total number of possibilities to choose k objects from n total objects if the order of the objects that we choose does not matter. As a warm-up, let's calculate the number of ways to choose three objects from six total objects. According to our formula, that is 6 choose 3, which equals 6 factorial divided by 3 factorial, 3 factorial, which equals 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, divided by 3 factorial, 3 factorial. If we cross out the 3 times 2 times 1 on both the numerator and the denominator, we have 6 times 5 times 4 on the top, and 3 times 2 times 1 on the bottom, which equals 20. Now, let's look at some identities involving n choose k. First, let's take a look at n choose k when n equals 6 and k equals 4. This represents the number of ways to select 4 objects from a list of 6 objects. For example, let's suppose we choose these four objects, which is equivalent to choosing two objects to eliminate from the original list. If we eliminate two objects, we'll be left with four objects, so that's another way of choosing the four objects. Hence, 6 choose 4 equals 6 choose 2, and in general, n choose k equals n choose n minus k. Now, let's consider 6 choose 0. This equals the number of ways to choose 0 objects from 6 objects. Clearly, there's only one way of doing that, which is choosing none of the objects. Hence, 6 choose 0 equals 1, and in general, n choose 0 equals 1, and therefore, n choose n equals 1 from the previous identity. Finally, Let's take a look at 6 choose 4 again. Let's set aside one object so that there are five objects remaining. We still want to choose four objects. Now, we can include the object that we set aside in our four objects, or we can exclude it. If we include the object, then we must choose three additional objects from the five remaining objects. This equals 5 choose 3. If we exclude the object, then we must choose all four objects from the remaining five objects, which is 5 choose 4. By the rule of sum, 6 choose 4 equals 5 choose 3 plus 5 choose 4. And in general, n choose k equals n minus 1 choose k minus 1 plus n minus 1 choose k. Which leaves us with our final list of identities that we've covered today.